My dear Mr. Bennet, have you heard that Netherfield Park is let at last? No, I hadn't heard. Miss Long says that it is taken by a young man of large fortune from the north of England. A Mr. Bingley, a single man of four or five thousand a year. <laughs> Mr. Bingley is a fine man, but Mr. Darcy is twice as handsome and twice as wealthy. Mr. Darcy looks like a proud man. My dearest daughter Jane is going to marry that man. And what of Mr. Wickham? He looked awfully content in his presence. Mr. Wickham is a fine militia man indeed. It's a shame that Mr. Darcy has wronged him so much. How can one man be so prideful? From this day on, you must become a stranger to one of your parents. Your mother will never speak to you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. And I will never speak to you again if you do. Happiness in marriage is entirely a matter of chance, my dear Elizabeth. <laughs> Mr. Bingley has left another kid. Oh, Jane, I'm so sorry. I was sure that he loved you. Mr. Darcy, I hadn't known you a month before I felt that you were the last man I could be prevailed on to marry. This is Mr. Darcy's estate? I've never seen anything so beautiful. You've been so different lately, Elizabeth. What happened during your trip to the country? Destroy this family. I should have told everyone his intentions from the start. 